Hi Virgo and welcome to your Ho 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 Christmas edition. So check it out. First and foremost there is gratitude and I really think by the time this year is over that you're really going to look back and you're going to realize how much you have uh, earned because look at this angel is actually looking toward the sun it's kind of like coming out so even though the sun just simply comes out every day like we actually really need to be grateful even for the small things then you're having come to the edge which definitely talks about that it's going to be a little bit kind of like shift in attitude it's going to be more risque in doing things but the most important thing is like this weird um, rune it's basically blank rune and just like I mean it's true to the basically uh, form it's called weird and this is the rune of fate so let's go and find out what is this all about let's jump right in so let's start. Hi Virgo. So this month is going to be a little bit different. So you have like this six of cups. I am not surprised at all that you're getting cups and six of cups is always like nostalgia, memory, it's Mercury retrograde, right? So it's about memories. So memories are kind of like funny things and sometimes also dangerous things. So recent research in neurology suggests that every time we recall a memory, we change it. So the Six of Cups reminds us to think about the past, to assess it, and to come to terms with it, but do so with love and compassion. So painful memories definitely can cause bitterness, right? And even happy memories can cause distress because we kind of like compare, you know, the present unfavorably to the past. It's sort of like, oh, the best is behind me kind of a thing. So the way you think about your past affect your present and your future. So there is like this timelessness, right? And I think this part of spirituality is really overlapping with Einstein theory of relativity, where we can be both in the past and in the future at the same time. So why don't you shape your memories gently and with forgiveness and healing? So that way your heart is really peaceful and you can really kind of like face your future and there is like this gratitude that is really coming to play and keep in mind it's going to be really destiny it's not like you're going to have much choice this month so let's see what else is from my Virgos and there is like another six that you have so it's already like some kind of like soulmate kind of like a feel that I'm having so there is like this yin and yang and perpetual chase and even though this card is called the lovers, this card is more or less about the choices, doing the right choices for us. Even though, like, I mean, it's maybe something that we want, but we will still decide, well, I cannot do it at this time, or it's not the best thing for me. You guys are really well composed, and yeah, you know, I'm taking as a badge of honor when somebody kind of like Aquarius, I think it was Aquarius who blamed me, oh, you're, you're turning into Virgo. Well, you know, I have lots of Virgo in my chart, sorry. And I'm actually really, really grateful that this is kind of like making me more pragmatic. The lover's card is basically connecting us with what is the right for us. Why are we really moving forward? For which reason are we here? I mean, if you really want to go deeper, I mean, karma reading would be the right one for you. So you really figure out what you wrote in your chart because nobody else but you writes this. And it's the major kind of coming first. And again, not much choice. This also could definitely talk about appearance of someone. Somebody write. It could be from the past. It could be for the future. But it definitely, it's going to be something that is going to really intrigue you. And then you have like two of pentacles reversed. This kind of like talks to me about juggling. And maybe you already are with someone who you're not so sure what to do or make or think about that. Kind of like you don't have enough data to let them go. 
but you have like your suspicions whether or not that they are not good like in domestic life they are not good at their finances they may be uh, are having somebody else on the side it's kind of like there's like something that is odd you cannot right put your finger on it sort of a thing but you're still intrigued about them and it's like you're intrigued enough that you're still kind of like wondering what the heck is going to happen it could be that you have a roller coaster with someone and it's kind of like each time and it feels like you're sailing into kind of like I mean in in some kind of like harbor and again like the storm starts to happen because I don't know if you can see it in the background you see this kind of like really wild seas and and the ships going up and down so let's see what is this basically ground this particular month and you have the loveliest card of all the world the world <laughs> is the same thing it's kind of like let's go for the next cycle and what is going to be in this cycle is it going to be exactly the same or is it going to be better you will be able to rely upon the help of fixed signs so aquarius scorpio uh, taurus and leo will either bring these lessons your way or will be able to help you with something i mean it's going to be really interesting because this means karma accomplish this means hey you know what there was like something that you have been struggling through that you didn't know how to really compute and all of a sudden there is clarity like was i was but while what i was saying about karma reading what you wrote in so you maybe said to yourself I really want to learn something about the relationship and how I react in that situation and now all of a sudden you react the way you should react in a healthy way and check mark bingo pass kind of a thing right so let's see what was here in the past you see like you have these twos it looks like there was like a difficulty of reaching a decision there was a difficulty between you, like there was like this measure between your heart and between your soul or head and heart were kind of like telling you different information you see here kitty in this two of swords walking this tightrope right and on top of that blindfolded so hello how much more difficult it can we kind of like expect but here we almost look sure to fail when everything is upside down so it almost like feels like that you felt at some point that you had no option and maybe this is still kind of like chasing you in your head maybe a questioning decision that you have made uh, in the past so what is above you is eight of cups so finally we see some kind of like emotion in addition to this nostalgia and here it is like i'm in your own sense of going toward what you want look at this kitty is going in the unknown even though you see the cauldron of milk cooking over here so what can be more interesting than warm milk well maybe this moonlight maybe what's out there maybe adventure and boy i really see adventure for you this month it's going to be really really interesting i have to say but it's going to be kind of like not something new it's going to be something that has been building up for quite a while in, in terms of kind of like in which direction to go keep in mind let me kind of like tell you a little bit more about this like rune word it doesn't have reverse meaning obviously it's just like nothing on it since i did the reading before yours for pisces if this was the first reading i would be told to stop because that rune is basically telling me that very strong spirits around me and they're really appearing but since this is the second one it's really allowing me to continue it's really talking to me about workings of fate and it's kind of like also very important to uh, understand that this is like really predestined right that you are in this point of life because you want it to be ponder this for a second you are here because you want it to be whether this is like a pain or sorrow or joy and adventure so there is like something over here that you are actually approaching a period in which your free will will have very little influence if any and events will progress as they have been kind of like designated there is like something that is going to really really go it's kind of like already on the tracks right so 
If you are wondering if you should go in some kind of relationship in particular, right? Like then this is going to tell that this is really not the right time. Because let's kind of like tell you about the Nordic mythology and like I mean the runes come from there, right? Their god Odin who was basically sacrificing himself and he was like in the hangman pose, he saw these like runes slid down on the ground and he in that sacrifice learned how to read them, right? So this is really talking about um, three norms or these like three maidens, right? That is really talking about their saga, right? And they were like personifying the past, the present, and the future. And in that Norse mythology, um, they kind of like were kind of like this kind of like those ghosts or you know, Norses of, of fate. And they kind of like have ability to have this complexity and scope that one of the witches was uh, to stand on a mountain, like a mountain top, like in the furthest east. Another one, like I mean, went like as far as west. Another one was like on a, like really really deep in the ocean. And then yet, this full extent of their kind of like strength would be really really visible, right? So these three prophetic basically witches survived this Viking age to be remembered in all kinds of like forms as three fairies basically and in the west this is really coming through that beautiful story uh, the sleeping beauty and the weird sisters of shakespeare's played macbeth so that's where this kind of comes through that it's kind of like destiny and fate to kind of like meet that prince so you kind of like have to ask yourself because you're coming to the edge if you're willing to kind of like hold yourself behind I always say to my coaching clients that the best way to know if you're the right person is to ask yourself a really simple question. If money was no object and you had the best looks and all the money in the world, that you will not ever spend a second worrying about that, would you still be with this partner? If the answer is yes, good for you. If the answer is no, you're settling. And you really need to work on yourself, not to them. This is not your job. So let's see where this kind of goes. Well, Four of Wands reversed is still a good card. Four of Wands is one of those cards that has like similar meaning up and down. So this is about like, I mean, wondering where I'm going and how to go to the next stage. And as I said, like there is like this iffy situation that is supposed to be iffy it's supposed to kind of like not make you kind of like go with a jerk reaction uh in this kind of case but it's definitely telling you emotionally that you need to follow your own heart to kind of like see what else is there for you and that's where this karma gets accomplished right and all of a sudden things actually work out in the best possible way for you so let's see where the emotions are for you this month whoa this is Wheel of Fortune. There is like another karmic basically card showing up. So now we have another destiny. So these are like two karmic cards out of five. And and we are the rune. So this one is saying to me that you're actually going to feel very pleasant, uh, very sa self-satisfied, kind of like you're going to feel that you actually really accomplishing your karmic destiny and going to actually even ask yourself like why haven't i done this all along kind of a thing right so let's see your environment like the people around you and things around you so it's going to be really important for you you're going to think about how to build a future you're going to think about how to how to progress and how to build this basically tree of you know your family tree, your money, your future. So maybe somebody is going to kind of like saddle you with it. Maybe it's going to be parents, you know, how they always ask, so what are you thinking? What are you going to be when you grow up? Kind of a thing. There's always kind of like talks about, hey, you know what? Um, you need to redefine where you are to see things that are working and to see things that are not working and let go of things that are not working and push yourself in and toward people that actually did so kind of like make some room for new things to happen and continue with things that have been working so far it's going to be extremely pragmatic decision over here so your hopes and fears are whoa that's the third karma card so holy smoke i actually have goosebumps almost like everybody this particular month 
had six of cups and judgment. There is like clearly talking about ghosts from the past and releasing them. When this comes upright, it means, hey, you know what? Sometimes you have been on the receiving end of the justice, but now you're cleaning your slate. There is like this karma accomplished, you're moving forward and kind of like you're moving forward in a really, really good direction. The choices are yours, you're owning it, and you're actually really grateful for all the lessons that you are, you are learning. So this is all heading toward you, woo, king of wands. So if you guys don't have someone, you're going to get somebody who is going to be so much fun. Yes, it could be born in the sign of Leo, Gemini, as I told you, Scorpio, uh, Taurus. What else do I see? I see Sagittarius over here and Gemini. This fellow here is like so much fun to be around. It's like somebody very generous, somebody who is accomplished, somebody who is trying to be the best he or she can be and who's going to treat you like the way you should be treated. So you need to ask yourself, if you're already with someone, that actually really means that the relationship will actually go to the next level and it actually can even predict the next stage. So let's say if you're dating, you might actually decide to kind of go steady. Uh, it might be even some kind of like engagement or kind of decision to move in. It's kind of like, it, it's really kind of like feeling like a new chapter is starting to happen over here. So let's clarify a few of the cards. Let's see the lovers here. What is the lovers card telling us? So we are having here the eight of um, wands and five of wands. So I think it's an internal struggle. There are going to be some lovey-dovey messages. And as I said, it could be somebody from the past that is coming through. Maybe you already had this person and you kind of like couldn't really make your decision and you're not sure or you're kind of like having somebody on a back burner or somebody had you on a back burner and the moment when you just like want to kind of like leave they seem to be interested in you and vice versa right the moment when you kind of like really kind of like move toward him or her well the interest is is kind of like gone so here we are really talking about love messaging we are really talking about look at this there is like this spark creating right and so if it was somebody from the past, it's going to be very interesting. Remember what I said, like things from the past, they're coming back to the surface. And this time they're going to be different. You have ability to release it or you have ability to fix them. So it's going to give you ability to kind of like reposition yourself and kind of like really see where your boundaries are. Like, look, this doesn't work for me. And if you really wanna do that, well, you know, I do need to let you go. But I would love if we can give it another chance, sort of a thing, right? Very, very important. So let's see the world card over here. What is this huge accomplishment? So we have temperance reversed. And then we have nine of swords. So what is finally done over with, guys, is something was always feeling at odds with you. Either it was the right person in the wrong place, or everything worked okay, and then some situation showed up that kind of like caused nightmares. Some of you may have had health problems to some kind of like extent, or, or simply you would meeting people who just like seem to be so inadequate. Or, like, I mean, you didn't feel that you were the one, that you are that wanted one. Well, guess what? This kind of like wishy-washy situations are now being left in the past. So congratulations. It's like kind of like all this darkness and gucky stuff are going to be placed to rest. What a lovely way to finalize the year. All the bad stuff is staying behind. So let's see this karma card, the Wheel of Fortune. What's going to tell us about, oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful talking about a new beginning, talking about a new cycle. So you need to ask yourself that you can spin this thing. But in this particular case, it's not going to end anywhere. It's going to end where you predetermined that already. Because this is simply asking you to trust. It's asking you to move toward that new beginning. You're having absolutely lovely, the fool. The fool is trusting and it's the new cycle. It's learning new things, opening up to new people and the Ace of Pentacles. 
that something is going to work so well that there's actually going to be a new person who is going to be long lasting and could as well be this king of wands or even the old person who maybe didn't work in the past and now it's going to work fabulously because things are actually finally coming into alignment. This is not actually going to be a big surprise to you. In fact, you're going to, you actually wondered why so far this didn't work. You couldn't kind of like really point a finger, like I mean, why certain things are not kind of like, why stars are not aligning, because everything to you was like so simple. But you have to understand that not everybody is as well organized or perceptive as you are and that finally what you were kind of like trying to put into somebody's head is like finally kind of like coming and and kind of like um, producing something so let's talk about this king of wands look at this we also have this two of swords here and we have son of pentacles so this person could be somebody that you already have dealt with in the past it could be somebody who maybe you would be hesitant to let in your life because, again, as I said, well, you know, we have been through that and I've been through that and I don't know if I want to go to the grinder again. But this person could have a, per, uh, um, a child, a son or a daughter, and it could be that maybe the things didn't work out because there were like still some kind of like family issues that they needed to kind of like tend to or maybe they really wanted to give their marriage or relationship still a chance because of the kids. Now they're actually making decision. You see, in the past it was reversed. They either made the wrong decision or they couldn't make a decision. Now they're still not sure what decision is to be made, but they're making a decision. It's sort of like executive decision and we are kind of like moving it forward. So this is all resulting back to come to the edge, right? This is kind of like telling me that you maybe have fear about being intimate with someone because it's truly kind of like scary to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you're kind of like hiding or protecting and you really don't want them to be known. But now, this is a time for taking that risk and to let yourself to be seen, but truly seen. Because you're wondering about this person. Why not to really put this person entirely to the test? What do you have to lose? So this is not time to play it safe, but this is kind of like time to take a leap of faith. You'll be very glad you did because as I said, it's really not what you want because this kind of like dial of destiny have been dialed and it's going to be a good thing you have the positive things happening for you so you know if you're seeking a relationship just like take one step toward the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire so my dear Virgo this is not going to feel like Virgo at all it's going to feel like that somebody is rattling your chain and you are kind of like living some kind of like James Bond life of adventure. It's going to be really, really different. But at the end of the month, you're going to feel so energized and so alive that you're going to probably say, Kat, thank you. I really, really did go through a whole bunch of things, but now I'm feeling so much better and meet my new Mr. or Mrs. Perfect. Virgo, challenge this month is I want to know who is on that line. So if you can say hi or anything, I really hope, you know, to hear from you. It's kind of like my Christmas wish and hopefully you can kind of like make it come true. I want to connect with you and I also invite you to live readings every Saturday. If you want a private reading with me, please check my website. But to support this channel, please buy your annual telescopes and the links are down there and in the description and of course if you really want to chat with me contact me via email or via my website catterra.ca all the best guys and we are going to have absolutely blast of a month i love you